everyone, fabulous girls and boys, and welcome to Fab Life. Hi. And here I am with my TV guest host, Bettina Hello. from Be Bettina. We had Hi. so much fun, and I uh, thank you for making me a guest in your show too. And we spoke about all the uh, folkloric dolls from all over the world. The world. That's really, oh my gosh, it's amazing, amazing. And so now I prepared to you a little bit of a, well, not a little bit, a, a slideshow, um, which hopefully will transition smoothly. <laughs> oh, it's going to be good. Yes, it's, it's going to be gonna really be good. good. So now I'd, we'd like to talk about all the uh, different designers of, of different eras and how um, pop culture has influenced the decade. So starting off, it's kind of similar, you know, with what we did in your show last week. Um, similar to that. Uh, so now I would like to start with the 1920s and the major, major, major player to me back then was Chanel. All right. Was Coco Chanel and, and of mm. course, um, love. the author um, L. Fitzgerald, who wrote The Great Gatsby. So I kind of threw in a little picture here. Of course, this is an, an, an old picture, but this is an image of Leonardo DiCaprio. Let me see the picture. This one. Oh, and, uh, look at that. They're yeah. standing there with that. Yes. They're right here, so I can. And, um, ooh, yes. Ooh, ooh, wow. Mm -hmm. And oh Daisy and the, Buchanan and Tom and Buchanan. And the pearls and the jewels. Yes, and that dress, by the way, was mm. um, created by Prada, but Prada didn't exist back then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but that's this great Gatsby and also the flapper dress. We wow. have the pla flapper dress of the 1920s. That's beautiful. And yes, and. Um, Is that Erte? Yes. The one with the Erte. Yes, this oh is um, Erte uh, was very influential. The most famous, yeah. the most famous artist. He um, influenced designer. the 1920s. Yeah. Yes. He did the, the magazine covers of all those magazines. All magazine. and not not only fashion but architecture, interior, everything. He drew was a pictures reflection. of all the designs. Yeah. He had a lot of illustrations. Mm -hmm. So amazing. Going back to Chanel, Coco Chanel, the designer, um, she revolutionized um, fashion because she used the fabric that wasn't supposed to be used and that was um, the male jersey, jersey. underwear. Stretch. Yeah, So that was scandalous. Never uh, stretched back, before. Back then, yeah. And now we're transitioning to the 1930s with um, Elsa mm. Schiaparelli. Ooh, wow. She was a major designer. Was Schiaparelli painting? Schiaparelli, yeah. I always um, thought it said Schiaparelli. Schiaparelli, but yeah. But I said it wrong, probably. But I love the chocolate yeah. cake. That was but anyhow, shirt. let's explain to the audience that she started designing in the 1920s, but she became really big in the 30s. Mm. And now, you Shop know, we thing. have some pictures of um, the look of the 30s. Do you have anything in Schiaparelli? And pink? in Schiaparelli and uh, also, um, well, I don't have anything in Schiaparelli pink. It's but, actually uh, like the Victoria's Secret color. Yeah, pink. but I do uh, have an, pink. an image of Wallace Simpson wearing a Schiaparelli, mm -hmm. which is not okay. here. Ooh, what was that last picture? Um, yeah, this is a Schiaparelli mm -hmm. outfit. So oh, anyhow, we're going to transition to, I don't know if this is Marlena Dietrich like we're Marlena wearing Dietrich. her mannish look. She mm -hmm. loved to wear Chanel men's um, suits and all that. So she was a major influence mm -hmm. in the fashion industry Inspired as well. Inspired by Chanel, I'm sure. Because and Chanel started the men's yeah, suits most with of all her, the pearls. Like, girl, yeah. girl it up. But it was men's wear. Men, girls never wear men's Very wear mannish. Before. Very mannish. Women yeah. never wore men's wear before. Mm -hmm. It was really exciting. And now we're going to skip to um, the 1950s, since there wasn't much of anything in, in the 40s. I know there was the big shoulder because pads of the and war. all that because of Not the war. Not until the 46. But um, we're going to uh, the 1950s, and we're going to, I'm showing to you here, uh, Christian Dior. 
Yeah. Yes, and the, um, new look. the new look, and this oh, is the new look right there. That's the one. Yes, that's the so one. If, that's the photograph. If anybody wants to yes. know what the new look was, that yeah. was the new look in nineteen forty-six. I wanted to show a picture of Yves Saint Laurent when he took over the House of Dior, but she said that it was too small. He was so young. Yes, he, he was only like twenty-one. Skinny kid. Yeah, you know, but um. For those of you who don't know, um, Yves Saint Laurent was the one who took over the house of Dior, the fashion house of Dior, uh, for I think five years until he got drafted to the military. He, that was a traumatic experience. How long was he in the military? I don't know, but that really broke him. Oh, wow. So wait, him. I didn't know that. So he was in the war. He was, he was in the a, war. Actually fighting? I don't know, but it broke him. It he was really... doing fashion over there, I'm sure. No. Probably no. sketching in his bedroom, no. like at night, you know, in his bunk. No. So sketching. now we're going to transition to the 1960s. And... Oh, my God. Oh, no. Short segment, 1920 and 30. On oh, okay. Oh. So now, oh, I totally forgot. So now we're going to take a commercial break, and we'll be back with the fashion of the 19. 60s. Yay. Yay. Go, go, six. I love the song.